camera guy over there and I was thinking, hmm, what if I don't break? <laughs> Before we move on towards the final challenge, um, first we learn how to drift. We're driving like 20-30 km per hour, give a blip of throttle, then the car is going sideways, then uh, we need to counter steer, counter steer as quick as possible in the right direction. Of course my line of vision is still in the right direction and before the car is stabilizing I am giving another blip of throttle. You are always drifting on water, on a wet area, and, and that makes it actually, you know, very possible to drift, you know. You take away the TC, you take away all the help to, so that you can over-rotate the car and lose grip, and then the rest is on you, you know. You think you're going to be good at this? Are you going to put me on the spot, uh, right? So, uh, yeah, I hope. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I think it was really fun, but it's really hard as well. Because I'm not like, you know, I'm the first driver, so I never drift in my life. So the counter steering part is hard. The only thing missing is just keeping the drift up, but that's the thing that's missing. Uh, maybe if I get another chance, maybe I can do it then. Okay, go. I still thought that I improved every time I did it, and by the end I was just putting the car like 90 degrees and keep going like this. So fun actually, so fun. Oh my god, that was really, really fun. The drifting was nice just because I haven't really done it that way yet. I knew I could possibly, but I didn't have the experience yet. Um, and then it was nice to see that it pretty much worked right from the start. I was so jealous and I was so mad <laughs> that I couldn't do it well. My only goal was my number is smaller than Jankos' number. That was always this competitive side to it. Can I do it better than the others? The goal is to go as fast as you can, right? Without hitting the cones. And now on towards the final challenge. This is the time slano. The guys were talking already during the coffee machine that he was the best or he was the best and he did like that and you know the talking. We're just at the start of the line. Uh, there's a laser that if you cross it starts a time and then there's a slalom of um, eight times left and right something like that and at the end of it there's a u-turn and then you go back through the same slalom and have to stop in a certain area and while you go into that area the time stops how confident were you that you're going to be the fastest at the start of course i thought okay it has to be me 24, 26. So that's what I think Carlos will be the closest competitor. I know you're very, uh, what are you saying? Very eager to win, right? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Okay, the battle is on. Let's go! It's on, it's on. <laughs> He's having so much fun. He just said it was a very good time. I, I can do better, I can do better. So I thought, okay, maybe if he improves, I should probably do the same. I 
that was the biggest shock of my life. I had such a bad start that I couldn't like possibly make it up. Okay. Not pictures today. No, no. Uh, 28, 90, I think. Okay. So a bit, a bit faster than Jankos. That's all that matters to me. at the beginning I was like <laughs> you all did a very good job very good car control but there can only be one winner and I think I was two seconds faster than Jankos on my best lap so um, I really smashed him it was so bad that I was puking in my <laughs> throat I was like <laughs> don't worry bro. hey don't put it in the video I was just really really mad at myself because being worse than grabs is so disgraceful that I should probably just I don't deserve to live <laughs> And with an astonishing time of 22.66, ladies and gentlemen, I want to have a big applause for Neil! That was the obvious result from the start that I would turn out to be the winner. <laughs> yes. but, uh, I knew Niels would, would win this, but I, I was happy I was very close to him. I was three tenths away on average, so uh, very happy. I'm really sad actually the day is over, so um, if you can just go turn back the time as well and actually be morning again, that would be great. 